we have x to the x plus 3 power and we want to make this equal to 1. So you know the deal, please pause the video and try this first before you see the solution. Ready? Alright, here we go. So we have to think about how can we have an exponential, you know, end up with 1. So we have a few cases. The first case, I'll say case 1, is when we have 1 for the base and then as long as you don't have infinity right here, then you end up with um, just anything finite, I will say. You will end up with 1, okay? So in that case, here we have the base, it's just x. So that means x should be equal to 1. So that's the first solution, okay? Next, case 2. We will have to then look at the exponent. And let's think about it. If we have an exponent here, something to the exponent of... What exponent will give us 0 though? Well, I mean, will give us 1. Ah, the answer is 0. Okay, here we have to be careful though. To avoid any like a debate or whatnot, I will tell you any non-zero number for the base raised to the zero's power, this right here will give you 1. 0 to a 0, there's no agreement, so I'm not going to touch on that. So, with this case, we will just have to look at the exponent, which is x plus 3. We will have to make it equal to 0, so that means x is equal to negative 3, after we subtract 3 from both sides. So done. Hmm, now is there any other case? Yes. Last case is when we have, let me just put this down real quick. When we have negative 1 for the base, this is possible though, but you have to be really careful. Negative 1 raised to an even power. This will also give us 1. And we have the zero case right here already, so let's make sure that this even number is not 0. So in this case, can we put negative 1 for the base? Yes, this right here is just x is equal to negative 1. Because if we have negative 1 right here, let me just check for you. Negative 1 raised to the negative 1 plus 3. It happens to be negative 1 for the base. And this right here is 2, which is an even number. And we end up with 1. Huh? Just like that. Pretty neat, huh? Hey, before you go, try this question. Here is the question for you guys. Go ahead and solve the equation x plus 2 raised to the x plus 3 power and we are going to make it equal to 1. And as a super bonus, how about if you can make x plus 2 raised to the x plus 3, can you make this equal to negative 1? Alright, and perhaps just do one more, why not? So, uh, number 1, 2, and 3. Last one, x plus 2 raised to the x plus 3, can you make it equal to 0? Try it.